Hey y'all, today we're gonna read My School is a Zoo by Stu Smith. My School is a Zoo. Yesterday's trip to the zoo left me feeling rather strange, like my life was somehow different or just about to change. My parents didn't look the same. I watched them snort and drool. My sister ate my homework. I'm glad it's time for school. So are his parents humans or are they animals in this? As I climbed aboard the school bus, my heart began to race. The driver waved his hairy arms with banana on his face. Animals crammed in every seat. Where'd all the people go? There has to be an answer. I'll bet Miss Wright will know. So Miss Wright must be his teacher. I ran into my classroom, but my teacher wasn't there. I would have told the sub if she hadn't been a bear. There were beehives in my desk and lizards at my feet. A goat ate all my pencils. There were needles on my seat. By the time I got to art class, there was nothing I could do. There were pythons in the ceiling wreaking havoc with the glue. So wreaking havoc means causing a big ruckus, causing craziness. Computer lab was crazy. The mice were eating slugs. The computers didn't work on account of all the bugs. I tried to call for help, but a yak was on the phone. The principal was useless. He was gnawing on a bone. The librarian caught me hiding and she threw me quite a look. As I glanced around the room, I noticed worms in every book. The lunchroom sure was crowded and the aides looked pretty mean. The lions and the wildebeest were causing quite a scene. The lobster in my lunchbox snapped its claws up in the air. A vulture watched me patiently so he could take his share. The turtles on the playground were spinning down the slide while hyenas laughed in chorus as Hippo took a ride. So that's one crazy recess. Music class was noisy. A penguin led our band. The ostrich missed his cue and the monkey smashed his hand. I was feeling kind of nauseous, so I went to see the nurse, but judging by her awful fangs, I thought she'd make things worse. That is one scary looking nurse. There were starfish on my papers and a beaver cleaned the boards. The seal clapped two erasers while a fox gave out awards. The bus ride home was dreadful. The skunks made quite a stink. Did the zoo trip cause this mess? I closed my eyes to think. The next thing that I knew, the driver tapped my hand. Things seemed back to normal with my sister eating sand. So what do you think happened? I sure hope that our next trip to the dinosaur display won't have the same effect as the zoo trip did today. But that could never happen. The dinosaurs are gone. At least I think they are. But then again, I could be wrong. And there it shows him sleeping with those dinosaurs lurking behind. So what, what do you think happened? Do you think he fell asleep on the bus and saw all of that craziness? And his school turned into a zoo? Let me know.